This video is brought to you by Nate Productions. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can implement shooting mechanic in the game and just to demonstrate how our final result will be. We have this uh, shooting animation and this uh, particle system going on so whenever you shoot there is some fire going out of your gun and some animation going on and then you can also shoot the enemies which I've now be I am using cylinders here you can use some actual models here I'm just going to use cylinders so you can see that whenever I shoot them they're getting destroyed uh, okay so let's get started by going over what uh, player here has in its uh, uh, hierarchy so First of all, we have the player which contains the camera rotation, which is responsible for rotating the camera. I've made an entire video on this on a previous lecture, so I won't be going into much detail on this. Then we have the shooting script, which is responsible for shooting and also using the animation and flash particle system that I made in the uh, below here. It will use that and actually uh, play those. So we have the gun that it's available through the link in the description. I haven't made this. It's free on the media asset store if you want to use the same as mine. And all these things has on it is some mesh. So it's just for decoration purposes. You don't really need to have this all of the tutorial. And then I've added some animation to it because, well, why not? And the animation is very simple. It's only six uh, uh, points of a second long. And all the thing uh, is doing is uh, starting off with the at the zero, it will have the initial position. Then at 0 0.03, it will kind of push back to uh, some position. So all you need to do is press record here, and then move the uh, your gun towards a uh, different position, so it looks as if it was moving, and then reset it to the initial position. So this is all the animation is doing. It's very simple to do, and then. We have the particle system which is here and by creating you can create an anime uh, particle system through going to right click effects and then particle system and this is what you'll get i set this to have a very short duration a very short lifetime some actual speed so 10 is seems all right some small size for the particles and i've set the uh, star color to be varying between two random values which you can do through here from the uh, drop down and then I am using the emission here instead of actually playing it automatically and the emission essentially is spawning an amount which is I'm using the default of 30 particles when you uh, pass this from your script so when I'm calling my script to use this it will spawn 30 uh, particles and just to demonstrate how this looks you can see on the left hand side it spawns some particles and there is also the shape you can see here of how uh, the particles will be spawned and also some lighting to enhance the effect which you can drag and drop any light from your scene or a prefab onto the available property so that's all for the particle system i've dropped both the animation and the particle system onto my script and let's show you how the script looks so i will start off with the enemy script which is the simplest thing and the, the only thing that it has is some health starting off with 10 and then there is a function of take damage and reduces the health to the according amount and if the health is below zero it will just destroy the enemy that is all for the enemy now going on to the camera rotation it gets the uh, movement for the and the input essentially from the mouse of x and y puts it in two floats for uh, x and y accordingly and then for the Y, it actually adds for, from the mouse X and for the X, it reduces from the mouse Y. It might seem complicated to why this is uh, the reason because as you can see, the Y is getting the value from the X, and the X from the Y. Uh, this is not uh, something too uh, complicated and I've explained this in my previous video, so I won't be explaining it now. Uh, okay, so that is all. And then I'm just moving rotation uh, through the Euler function. Again, explained in the previous video. If you want to understand more of how this works, make sure to check that out. And I'm also locking the state of uh, the cursor. So in order to the cursor to not be visible and remain in the center, I'm using the cursor mode dot locked. 
in order to set that to be locked in the middle of the screen and also be invincible so it won't be visible to the player and lastly we have the shooting uh, script which is has five variables here uh, the camera which is the main camera of the scene the range so how far the bullets should go on and uh, the fire timer so how often a bullet can be fired there is also the animation and particle systems which i'm giving the value through the inspector then i'm setting the range to 10 to 100 sorry in the start function and also getting the camera through the uh, through its tag and getting the component from the game game object found and then in the update i'm reducing the fire timer by time delta time which is essentially the time between this frame and the previous frame so how much time has it passed from the previous frame and i'm reducing it so it has an initial value it gets reduced every update and every frame and if this is below zero it means that we can fire otherwise we cannot and this checks if it the left mouse of your mouse is pressed so if it's pressed it will return true and if it's true and the fire timer is uh, below zero it means that we are allowed to shoot so we're calling the shoot function and the shoot function is using array and array cast to make the shooting possible and add some functionality to it so we have two variables the ray cast hit and the ray the ray is an infinite line from two points and i'm using the camera dot screen point to ray which is using the camera's position and the mouse position to make the shooting possible and it creates a ray between the camera's position and the mouse position in the wall space so uh, this gives us the ray and the direction essentially of uh, our ray and i'm actually playing the particle system and the animation here so regardless if we are hitting anything with the ray we are re going to play this both regardless if we are aiming at the sky or nothing this will play regardless and then we are ray casting so we are passing in the ray that we've made here with the line between the camera and the position in wall space that our mouse is uh, aiming which is as i said in the middle of the screen and then passing in the hit to, from the ray cast hit that we made here remember that this has no value up at, until this point and we're using the out and allowing the ray cast function to give this uh, variable some information and that will allow us to uh, understand how the the ray cast worked and where it occurred and with what game object and collider it occurred and i'm also passing the range so it stops um, up to the point that it reaches the range that we determine and then we are getting the through the hit the transform we're getting the component of the enemy script that i've explained here and in the case that if this is not empty it means that there is value to this so this means that this is not empty we are going to be facing an enemy so the ray cast hit an enemy and we're going to be calling the take damage function and at the end we're just resetting the fire timer to 0 0.1 which will enable this to occur so it will need to be reduced again up to zero in order to be fired again so this is the entire script uh, for this tutorial just to demonstrate one last time of how this looks and before i forget there is also in my canvas i have added a small image which is a red image to demo to be visually representing where the player is aiming at and it's the cross here in the middle of the screen so one last time of how this looks i'll just full screen this so shooting left and right you can see that uh the effect is not uh there are uh, some effects going on some animation some particle system and then i'm shooting the cylinders or my enemies you can see that we're getting destroyed anyway thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos and if you found this helpful do drop a like if you want to learn more of particle systems ray casting on all that kind of stuff make sure to check the link in the description for uh my course which will teach you everything you need to become a game developer Thank you for watching and goodbye. Want to become a professional game developer? I designed the ultimate game development course that will teach you everything you need to make your own top quality games with over 20 hours of content and 100 lectures at your disposal.
Make sure to check the link in the description for more information.